What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today we are testing the Bullet Safe VP3 bulletproof vest. So this was sent to us by Bullet Safe. And by the way, if you like what you see and want to pick one up after watching this video, uh, there will be a link in the description box below where you can save 10% off. So thank you to Bullet Safe for giving you all that. The VP3 is a level 3A bulletproof vest, which for those of you that don't know, is rated to stop up to a 44 Magnum, which as you'll see later in the video, is a very powerful handgun caliber. So it's made in the USA, uh, lightweight, comfortable, NIJ certified, and very affordable. This particular vest comes in around $299, which is a dang good price for a level 3A vest. And I've always looked at body armor as kind of a compromise thing. Depending on what you're doing, you obviously might want a little bit more protection, but I think 3A is kind of a good choice for most people because it's lighter weight and much more comfortable to wear over long periods of time. So usually we would just set this thing on some sandbags or a picnic table and shoot the crap out of it. But for today's video, I've got something a little more realistic. So one of the downsides of any body armor really, but especially soft body armor like this, is the internal damage it would cause if you were to actually be shot while wearing that thing. And I've heard some horror stories over the years of people that have had to deal with this. Yes, it will stop the bullet and hopefully save your life, um, but it's still gonna be pretty dang painful. And I've always wanted to test this for myself. So today, that's what we're gonna do. Now this is a human torso from Ballistic Dummy Lab. We shot this in a previous video and it's obviously pretty beat up here on the front, but if you go around to the back, you can see that all the ribs and spine and shoulder blades and everything back here are still perfectly fine and have not been broken. So we're gonna put the vest on this torso backwards and see if we can break any bones or do any internal damage and try to get an idea of how painful it would be to get shot wearing a bulletproof vest. I'm sure it wouldn't be fun. Perfect fit. Now I need to turn this thing around. There we go. Perfect. And we're gonna start with the 22 long rifle. If I were to be shot wearing body armor, this is the caliber I would prefer. I don't think it's gonna do too much internal damage. Let's see. And I know there's a lot of cops and military that watch the channel, so if any of you guys have ever been shot while wearing body armor, let me know in the comments how bad that sucked. I would love to hear it. So the 22 hit right there, and of course, it easily stopped it, did not even deform the vest at all, and that one actually hit either right on or pretty close to that big old laceration right there, so it's kind of hard to tell if it did any internal damage. With the 22, I wasn't as worried about placing it right on a bone because I figured it wouldn't do much damage. All right, now we're stepping it up to the nine millimeter. This is a much more powerful caliber with a lot more energy to it. So I'm gonna try to place this one a little bit lower and see if we get any damage. Shooting it out of the Glock 19. Our nine millimeter hit right there. And of course the way 3A body armor works, it kind of swells up when it gets shot. And that one was right on the spine. So I'm curious to see what kind of damage we got. And if you look at the backside, it did not come through. I easily stopped it and I don't see any damage. So that would be painful, probably leave a humongous bruise and have you sitting on the couch for a few days, but no broken bones in our human torso. All right, let's try the 45 ACP. This is the Hornady Critical Duty, a really good self-defense round. And usually I would say the nine and 45 are comparable, but this might be the one situation where I would rather get shot with a nine millimeter than a 45, just because it is bigger and probably would hurt a little more. Now, at least that's what I would think shooting it out of the Smith & Wesson MMP shield. Try to put this one right in the middle. And our 45 hit right there, a couple inches below the 22. Let's see if it hit any bones. Okay, so we actually do have a pretty good mark right there. That looks like some of the body armor that got stuck to the ballistics gel and you can see it didn't come through but it definitely tore the back of the vest and that would be pretty painful <laughs> and just to give you guys a closer look there's obviously no bullets in there it did stop it pretty easily but when body armor's up against stuff like this it's pretty common to see holes in the back of it because 
Those are some hard impacts. Now this is one that we don't shoot very often, the 40 Smith & Wesson. So this is a very common law enforcement caliber and it's obviously in between a nine and a 45, but it's actually higher pressure than either. So it's a pretty tough bullet. Let's see what it does. Shooting this one out of the Glock 23. Smith and Wesson hit right there dead center it's also going right down the middle of the spine and that one's actually really close to the 45 so let's see what it looks like okay so we don't have any body armor on the gel like we did with the 45 but there's absolutely a mark right there and I would imagine that would leave a pretty good bruise and once again on the body armor we do have a tear but of course no bullet came through and no bones were broken. So that's a good result because the 40 hit really close to the 45 and since the body armor is so compromised in that spot, I thought it might allow something to sneak through. But as you saw, it easily stopped it. All right, let's go ahead and try the 44 Magnum. This is the biggest caliber. This vest is rated to stop and I believe this is a 180 grain hollow point. So screaming fast and should hit it pretty hard. We're gonna shoot this one out of the Taurus Ultralight 44 Magnum. And as you can imagine, an ultralight 44 Magnum revolver is not very pleasant to shoot. So <laughs> we'll just go for it. Right in the middle. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the ultimate test. If it stops the 44 Magnum, it does what it's advertised to do. So you can see where that one hit, right next to our nine millimeter, much bigger hole in the front of that vest, and it just swelled up the entire bottom half of that thing. So pretty hard impact. Let's open it up and see. <laughs> yeah, that looks painful. Wow, so it actually dented the ballistics gel quite a bit. Um, some of that vest did rub off on it and we actually have damage to the ballistics gel. That would absolutely suck. You can see the back of the vest here where it stopped that bullet, uh, definitely ripped it, but nothing came through. That looks horrible. <laughs> So technically it didn't break any bones on our torso, but the ribs on that bottom half are set in several inches. So in real life, that would absolutely do some damage and leave a pretty big mark, which is what I expected, of course. But it did stop the bullet and it would save your life, which is the most important thing. One more gun that I wanna try before we start mag dumping this thing is the 12 gauge shotgun. So this is nine pellet, double lot buckshot, a very powerful self-defense load. It's basically like nine, nine millimeter bullets hitting you all at the same time. So let's see if this vest can stop it and how much damage it does. I don't want to pop myself in the mouth. Ah, oh, I hit it up to the right side corner. That one went too high. We're gonna try it again. There we go. So the problem with those Mossberg shockwaves is if you actually aim it using the sights, it feels like you're gonna pop yourself in the mouth. So I point shot the first one and it went way too high. And then the second one is a perfect hit. So you can see the first one hit the body armor, but some of those pellets might have missed. So I took the shot again and we got a good hit. So let's take this thing off and see. <laughs> okay, so it actually did stop the first one. Um, it pushed the body armor into our ballistics gel, but it looks like I just barely caught the top corner of that vest. So it did stop it. And then the second one hit right there and that is gnarly not quite as bad as this one but it still left a really good mark definitely tore the ballistics gel and of course once again huge tear on the back but none of those pellets came through on either one of those shots even the first one that barely caught 
the edge of the body armor. Now, this is one area where ballistic gel is not really consistent with skin because it's not nearly as tough. So when you see the body armor get pushed into the torso like that, uh, that probably wouldn't happen on a real human body, but it would leave a very painful mark. And it kind of shows you how much harder the double op buckshot is hitting than any of the other handguns because nothing else did that besides the shotgun. All right, well, if the vest will stop a 44 Magnum and double op buckshot, it should probably handle this. But I want to try an entire mag dump from a Glock 19 and see if anything gets through. This is 15 rounds of nine millimeter all at the same time. One of the worst case scenarios if you're wearing body armor. Let's do it. And here's the front of our vest that now looks like Swiss cheese. You can see all those nine millimeter holes. Let's go ahead and open it up. And <laughs> uh, I don't think any bullets came through. We definitely have some damage on the back of that body armor, but it looks like it stopped everything. So once again, this torso is just all jacked up. And you can see some of the body armor coming off on the ballistics gel, but I don't see any actual bullets that made it through. Even in its extremely compromised state, you can see how tore up the back of this thing is. It did stop all those nine millimeters, and it looks like none of them actually did anything close to what the double op buckshot did. All right, guys, well, I think it's safe to say the Bullet Safe VP3 is a pretty dang good bulletproof vest, and I think we all get the point. You saw how it performed with the human torso behind it, and while it would suck to get shot with body armor on, it stopped everything we threw at it and would absolutely save your life, which is the most important thing. Again, I want to thank Bullet Safe for sending this vest out for us to try. I love shooting body armor, and this was pretty dang fun. So remember, if you want one of these for yourself, uh, be sure to use our link down in the description box below where you can save 10% off of this exact vest. If you all enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments. And as always, hit that like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.